Thousands of small businesses in the UK have been a victim of this and it's thought to cost the UK nearly 1 billion in just the last 12 months alone. It's been described as an organised criminal attack that over 130 officers are investigating. Warrants have been issued, arrests have been made and no doubt criminal sentences will be passed. So stay tuned right till the end because I'll tell you exactly how you can protect your business from this to make sure that you don't lose thousands of pounds of your hard-earned cash. Believe it or not, I am actually referring to R and D tax claims in the UK. And in this video, I'll tell you exactly what they are and why there are so many significant problems with them. If you want to receive more content just like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button down the bottom and also join me in my free Facebook group. So what exactly are R and D tax claims? Well, R and D stands for research and development and this scheme was introduced in 2020 by HMRC. It's actually quite common across the world, um, especially in Europe, the R&D tax claims are offered by governments. And the reason being is that it is a way of governments incentivizing businesses to invest and spend money on research and development in science and technological industries. So the UK economy is actually lagging behind other European economies in terms of how much we pay out with R&D claims. And therefore, the government is really encouraging businesses to utilize R&D tax claims and therefore spend more money in the UK on science and technology investments. So if you're a qualifying business in the UK, then you can claim an additional £33 in tax credit for every £100 that is spent. So these really allow particularly small businesses to add thousands, if not tens of thousands of pounds to their bottom line every year. So what is the problem with R&D tax claims? Well, in the year 2000, when R&D tax claims were introduced, we started to see this industry boom and many businesses set themselves up selling services as R&D tax experts. So they would approach your business, do all the necessary work to complete the R&D tax claim and submit it to HMRC on your behalf. And they usually charge somewhere in the region of 15 to 20% commission on the repayment that you get from HMRC. So it sounds fairly straightforward, but there is a very small detail in the way that HMRC plays R&D tax claims and this has meant that many small businesses have been left thousands of pounds out of pocket. And the reason being is that HMRC will pay the tax refund to the business before it has assessed if the business is eligible and the claim is valid. So imagine that you submit an R&D tax claim worth about £5,000. You receive £5,000 in your bank account from HMRC and you pay 20% commission to the R&D so-called expert for helping you with this return. Then the £4,000 you either spend back in your business or perhaps you treat yourself to a nice holiday or something similar. However, at a later date, HMRC will assess your claim and deem that you're not eligible and reject the claim and ask for the money to be repaid. Even worse, HMRC could levy 100% on top as a fine, meaning that you may have to repay £10,000 to HMRC. And therein lies the biggest issue that small businesses are facing when it comes to R&D tax claims, is that they're using these so-called experts that don't offer any guarantee that HMRC are going to accept the claim and not reject it after payment to you. And often small businesses find themselves in the situation where there's little or even no comeback on these unscrupulous R&D expert businesses. So how do you know if you have a legitimate R&D claim in your business? Well, the criteria from HMRC is quite straightforward and you need to demonstrate that you are advancing in the science and technology industries and that you're not just making an advance for your business. Quite crucially, one of the key criteria that HMRC state is that the outcome must be uncertain. So this means that you may have a design of something, but you don't know that it's definitely going to work. You'll be doing some trialing and erroring. And that's one of the reasons why the government want to encourage businesses in R&D, because you're coming up with new ideas and developing new products that don't already exist in the marketplace or in the world. And another criteria that HMRC refer to is they ask whether an expert in this field would be able to resolve this issue. So having a problem that you perhaps require some brainstorming to overcome is a bit different to saying that we don't know whether the outcome of this is going to be certain or not. And what does a bad R&D claim look like? Well, there have been some cocktail bars that have claimed that a new cocktail qualifies for R&D, and even a pub that added vegan food to their menu or a business that installed a conservatory roof. It's very difficult to see how vegan food, cocktail flavours or conservatory roofs are advancing science and technology in the UK. Now the unfortunate reality is is that these are examples of real life claims made for R&D and they are most likely put forward by honest hard working businesses that have been duped by people that are selling themselves as so 
so-called experts in R&D. So how can you avoid your business falling foul of this terrible, terrible industry? Well, the good news is that HMRC changed the legislation slightly in August 23, and they are now requesting more information upfront with the R&D claim, including details of the R&D expert who provided the advice to your business. So I think it's fair to say that HMRC are trying really hard to crack down on this, but there does have to be a balance between cracking down on the unscrupulous businesses that are selling false hopes that you can make R&D claims versus putting off genuine businesses that are making investments in UK science and technology and have a legitimate claim to make. So HMRC is introducing new legislation to try and strike the right balance and I think we can see more of this legislation to come in the next few years. But for you, what I would recommend is the first thing you do is you go to the HMRC website. There's actually some quite straightforward legislation on there that's written in quite simple English and it should be quite easy for most business owners to have a read through and get an idea as to whether or not you think your business may qualify for R&D claims or not. Do not believe what the YouTube videos and the emails and the salespeople are telling you. Refer to the HMRC website as your first point. And then simply ask yourself, are you advancing science and technology in the UK? Are you producing something that hasn't been done before? Are you researching something and you don't know what information you're gonna find out? Are you creating a new product? Are you creating a new service? Something has to move the field of science and technology forward and not just move your business forward. Now, if you do think that you are eligible to make an R&D claim, then it is recommended that you do use an expert to help you do this. And I would recommend that you read the terms and conditions very, very carefully. You want to make sure that any payment that you make to the so-called R&D expert is not made based off payments from HMRC and that it's only made on acceptance of the claim by HMRC. And the second thing that it's really important for you to make sure that the R&D expert provides is that they will give you full support should there be any inquiries or any additional information requested by HMRC. Quite often we're seeing that once the initial claim is submitted and their fee is paid then they just simply wash their hands and this is very very difficult for small businesses who could be left with quite lengthy requests from HMRC for more information that you just don't simply understand. And my final recommendation would be to really do your research, read the reviews about the R&D company that you are choosing to go with and also I would recommend that you steer clear of businesses that just do R&D claims. Really, you want a tax expert in the field that isn't just interested in getting these no win, no fee claims through and has got plenty of experience dealing with HMRC. And this will also help to ensure that you're making a legitimate tax R&D claim. I get emails all the time, phone calls from these companies trying to sell R&D tax claims to me and they absolutely have no place in my business. It's not something that I'm doing, but they promise me on the phone that they can help me. So if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. But if you do submit a claim to HMRC and you do receive an inquiry from them, don't panic. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to reject your claim. It just means that either your initial claim was missing some information or they need to clarify some details with you. So have you got any experience with R&D tax claims? Have you experienced the unscrupulous R&D so called experts that are selling their services in the industry let me know what you think in the comments below and if you want to receive more content just like this make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get notified every time i release a video